Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Chief, and we are here with episode 11 of Outlast, or part 2 of the Whistleblower DLC. In the previous episode, we obviously we started up the Whistleblower DLC. Uh, we uh, basically are taking on the view of, I think, Whalen Parks, I think is um, what his name is. Yeah, Will or Will Park. He's basically the guy who sent the information to Miles um, at the start of Outlast, basically saying, yo, this is what's going on. We need to get it out into the upper world, but um, obviously we got found out and put through the metamorphic engine process uh, just at the time that it happened to be the uprising that uh, obviously leads as a prequel into the main story about last. And uh, we've, I don't know if we've completely escaped it yet, but there was a guy who, with a chainsaw kind of thing who uh, was chasing us around for a little while. Uh, it took us a while to get past him, but uh, I think we've done so. I don't know. Uh, so the last thing we picked up was document number two, which was just on this little thing over here. So we're just going to carry on. It's been a little while since I've played this game, so back in the fun section where I'm pretty much terrified of everything. Oh. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Where's that coming from? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Hold the phone. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Jesus H. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. That was terrifying. I was just going to say, like, hey, we're back at where we started, and then the dramatic music starts. So, that's great. But we've got a hank of keys now, so. That's all good. You go away. I'm going to see him again, are we? Hopefully not. Good. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that's got the heart pumping. Um. No. Basically, go every. Oh, 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 oh. No. No, thank you. So I can get through there. Um. So it's going to be through here then. Is he gone now? The hell? Oh damn! Oh my god! Dad, you can no, no, whoa. No. You stay there and cook. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh god, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. That fucker, I hate him. Come on, punch harder. Thank you. Jesus, Sage Corbett, what the? F <laughs> oh my word! This this episode is not doing me any favors, is it? it really isn't. Okay. Uh, now I know the next note of the next document we're going to pick up is in the chapel, which is apparently just after we have escaped from the furnace. So <clears throat> I assume that's going to be around here somewhere. Uh, ah, this is a chapel, I think. Crucifix thing. Oh, there it is. Uh, let's get it. Okay. Excerpt from the recordings of Dr. Bruce Newhouse, MD, employed by Mount Massive Hospital 1958 to 1965. Father Clark, far be it from me to lie to a man of God, so let me have at least say, let me at least say, that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients. And if you feel yeah, if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply let us know and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or a similar calming procedure. Don't underestimate the contribution your sermons offer our patients, especially considering the depth and necessarily chaotic nature of hypnotherapy. Our patients need the bedrocks of God and family, not all of our poor unfortunates of families to call upon, and so the burden and calling is yours. We are 
We are all of us relying on your faith and hard work. DBNR does a new house. MD May 20th, 1961. Also, um, I looked up after the last episode, that wasn't Father Martin. It was the guy kept saying it was Father Martin. It wasn't, so it's all good. Uh, so, you see the rotating red line. Okay. Uh, okay, we're not going through that. Sweet. Okay, so this is back to where we were then, doesn't it? Yeah, makes sense. That's where the furnace was. Okay. Um. Don't sass me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Oh, battery. Battery. I'll take a battery. E. Right now what? Can run, but you can't hide. Or you can hide, and you can run, but it's inadvisable. Right. That's a, what? What are we supposed to do? I don't know. Oh, it's a ladder. Just ignore the screaming. It's all part and parcel, trust me. Hmm. Okay. Just to jump across to that? Really? Oh. Or this. That was a bit better. Just keep on trucking. Hmm. Okay, got it. Oh. Is that right? No. Hang on. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. Can I, uh... You won't side the cross. I know you will. Why can't you do that before? I just drop to the floor, honestly. Typical. Typical. <clears throat> okay. Apologies if I'm constantly... Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hell no. Nah. Oh. Dun 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 <laughs> It does very much look like a 1960s Doctor Who intro. Um, yeah, I apologise for all the coughing and everything. I'm basically in the middle of a cold. That's why my um, uploads have been so infrequent this week. I've only just um, got my voice back, really, even though it's not fully back, but yeah, basically. Why is it? There's two ways, one that's lit up and one that's darkened, and the choose the darkened path. Because <coughs> oh. it leads to a battery, that's why. There you go. No, no. That's what it came in, wasn't it? Yep. Oh, please, no. Wait, shit, is he behind me? Is he in front? What's going on? Terrified. I think it's through there. Yes. 
Okay. Oh god. Hmm. Probably through this way then, isn't it? Hmm. What the, the hit? Who, what, where? No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Who the hell are you? Shit in Nara. Oh, this is not what I need. Okay, alright. Uh, we're saying red light, go left into the bathroom, record what's going in the middle stall. Should be near then, I think. you guys to it. Varying effects. <clears throat> Lisa, or whoever finds this, know that Murkoff is making monsters. I've never seen the patients after they've gone through that German so-called therapy, the engine. So much worse than I could have imagined. They may still be human, but something's, that something's been ripped out of them, and too many other things pushed back in. They were not all murderers, they were sick, but they weren't killers. Murkoff made them monsters. Dr. Rosette said the engine had varying effects. The variant outcomes to erratic... The variant outcomes too erratic for any sort of prediction. I took it as an idle cafeteria small talk. Rolls endless chatter. I should have listened. Hmm. Have we got batteries? Could do with a battery. Okay, uh, next we have to go through, uh, look through a window. Right, okay, it's not yet, but it's close apparently. Hmm. There's a, there's a uh, decontamination sensor thing, so if I don't know if the wall riders. <sighs> God, I'm so on edge today. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ, find the main valve and shut up the gas to access the airlock. Oh, the battery. Hmm. Wheel, wheel, wheel. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it's a thin. We don't have to go back out that way, do we? I really hope not. There's a guy after me out there. <laughs> oh, the dude's gone. Oh jeez, sorry. Hmm. That's very angry. <clears throat> I don't know. I really don't have to go back out there though. Do you climb on top of something? No. And where's the valve? No, it's Oh, okay, I didn't see this bit before. Uh, okay. Right, you go through the window. Hops it, far end. Ah, there it is. 
Okay, excerpt from 1957 and comments on IG report operations of TSD. Number seven, influencing human behavior. E, the potential use of psychochemicals in political action operations is well recognized, although it has not been explored as thoroughly as might be expected. Chemical division includes it as an objective of its program to be prepared to support or make such operations possible. Non-chemical methods of accomplishing political action operations are also included in the program. Note J. Law 18... Um, April 15, 1958, present the above McCultra excerpt of Technical Services Division for budgeting and authorization of continued research into research of Dr. Rudolf Wernick, asset 14866, and Project Wall Rider. Autopsy of recovered test subjects shows chemical content of bodies, metallic tumors, evidence of subdermal, yeah, subdermal combustion that indicates heavy psychochemical dosage. See note 92387, HS Berlin, 6th of September 1938. Hmm, interesting. So, just got one, <clears throat> one more note in this, sorry, one more document in this chapter. Um, I mean, it's a lab of some sorts, so I'm sure we'll see that. Where's that knocking coming from? Uh, is he hostile? Oh, he's just knocking on doors. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it to your to your business. That's cool. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Hello. Hidey holes, it's not a good sign. Nope, nothing. Huh. What was a vent there? Okay, I'll get back to that. That's probably where we need to go, actually. Let's check down here, first of all, though. Okay, no, I changed my mind. Let's go this way. <laughs> oh, up, 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 up! What are you doing? Jesus. <laughs> oh, great, all leads into the next room. Smell you later. Oh, shite. Okay. Nope. Because that chainsaw guy is going to be the death of me, quite literally. Oh! No, 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 up, up, what are you doing? Oh, shite. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Just check time wise what we were doing. It's another ten minutes. Oh lovely. <laughs> uh it's locked. Batteries, anybody? Okay, well that looks like a lab. <gasps> what? 
Ooh, what? What? Stupid game, make me jump. <laughs> okay guys, uh, well obviously I'm cutting this in now. This is the second half of the video. Uh, when I was originally recording this episode, um, this is about the time when we entered this room that uh, I got interrupted and uh, went to talk with my mates for uh, about an hour or so. And I came back and noticed that the light above, um, above my, my webcam was dying, so I assumed it wasn't plugged in properly. So I did a little readjustment in um, re-plugging it in. And as it turns out, for some reason, that cut out the audio on my microphone. I really don't know why it did that, but the rest of the video carried on. And so this is my second attempt at recording the back at the, the last 10 minutes of this episode. So we're just going to get right on into it. So this is the last document in Chapter 1. Uh, Markov Psychiatric Systems, Project Wall Rider, Mount Massive CEO, case number 219, patient Frank Antonio Maniera. Consultation dated 2012, August 29th. Initial date to patient consult, 2010 uh, 1st of November. Uh, patient age 36, gender male, observing physician Dr. Carl Houston, DBNR, therapy status, minimal morphogenic injured activity and only in ex at extreme stages 5 and 6, levels of hormone therapy. Dream states return repeatedly to images of isolation and betrayal, zero lucid state. Diagnostics heavily, heavy bronchial accumulation consistent with patients with histories of tobacco and marijuana, exceptionally low REM activity. Interview notes at the time of this interview, Frank was down to 155 pounds from his admission weight of 228. He was lethargic and largely non-responsive, exhibiting interest only in the hypnotherapy, uh, hypnotherapy script pattern 9 verdict. Concerning drinking blood from the chest of sleeping men, he continues to refuse baths or the attention of a barber outside of general anesthesia, stating, if I cannot partake, I cannot share. Recommend forced nutrition for Mr. Manure if we cannot find something he likes to eat. Micropsychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider, Mount Massive CO. Okay, so, yeah, as I was saying, um, I have done... I'm actually going to probably go through this a lot quicker because I know what I'm doing. Uh, through these last 10 minutes, uh, including a section in which I was basically sneaking around for ages because I had absolutely no clue what to do. So, yeah, so, I mean, obviously... Okay, I do remember that there is a spooky section coming up, but um, I know exactly what I need to do, so obviously it doesn't have that natural effect anymore, for which, you know, I apologise, nothing I can do. Hmm. And this is actually it. Here comes the big boy. Hmm. Right, I don't believe there's anything else I need to activate. But I do know where it is I need to go. Ooh. Oh, shitting hell. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Oh, well, we need to go, I believe. Is up here. Oh, nice. See that last time. Pretty much took up the entirety of those 10 minutes. I was I did not know how to jump up in. I was literally sneaking around trying to avoid that guy, wondering where the hell I was supposed to go. So, I've just saved you all that. <laughs> Obviously, the... I, the Priority for this series really is, is for the raw, like, you know, I've not done this before, I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm just going to shit myself for a bit. Which is basically what I usually do, I'm watching exactly what I was doing in the original take, but, um, yeah, kind of the fact that I know what I'm supposed to do this time, so, here's the valve. I think I can get more done this episode. Use the shockwave radio in the prison. This I don't know, because obviously by this point is when I'd, um, ended the episode, I think. Um, so, I think we're into chapter 2 at this point. Um, let will just check. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, no, this isn't where I ended the episode. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. It's going to be a no from me, dog. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Freedom. <laughs> yeah, the point where I stopped is where we literally entered uh, the outside area. Which I assume is probably coming up very soon, indeed. Oh. Yeah, there we go. This is this is where I ended the episode. And we've um, still got over five minutes. Well, five minutes and like ten seconds. Um... 
so obviously I'm, I probably went a little bit over time I think about 35 for 36 minutes or something like that um, so this is all new to me now so we're back into the blind zone uh, I said, could write, hear a voice, go through a gate and record the guy above you in the left hand window okay Voodoo. Okay, take two. I actually missed um, a note, so I'm going to try this again. No, no, Not anymore, I'm not sunny. Okay, satisfaction. A scream. Is it him? The cannibal? Could be pleasure or pain. I won't guess. I'm not sure he'd even know. His voice sounds like, like something I wanted while watching the engine. Its only message is hunger. To crush and consume. I'm going to forget it, Lisa. If I get over here, I'm going to come back to you. Yeah, I missed that first time, so... But no more. Okay, so... So... Trying to get ahead to where I was. I believe it's down here. Oh! That, that, I mean, that got me the first time. I don't know why <laughs> it still scared me again the second time. I completely forgot all about it. Okay, hopefully that's the last time I'm going to have to experience that very huge jump scare. Okay. Still can't see anything though. Please don't hurt me. Okay. So for this one, there's a note. I'm going to call this guy over here. Having a, having a grand old time. He's playing alone and losing. That is what the game is. There is a mathematical proof. If you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on up to infinity, you can arrive at an answer. If you stop shy of infinity, you have an indescribably large number. If you continue all the way to infinity, you arrive at 1 out of 12. Negative 0 0.083333. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Repeating. I'm losing my grip on things. I'm thinking about the drive here. 400 miles in a rented truck. The job that shows up just in time to cover our bills are debts the insurance. The boy sleeping in the back. Nothing but AM radio. Gospel, country, western, late night, paranoic talk radio. Is that past Clown signs of laughter, conspiracies of aliens and ghosts. Mile marker numbers passing in headlights. I don't want to die here. Okay. Uh, right, so we're supposed to go through here. The next note says through the basketball area, so I assume it's in here. So I tried this first time in this room, but there isn't anything. So. I'm back to where I was before, which is I have no clue where I'm supposed to go now. Go up between those other stairs. Or can we get in this way now? The guy's gone? No. Nothing. What's this? Oh, hello. I can't even jump up it, never mind. Never mind. Hmm. I wonder. Ah, here we go. This wasn't open before. Hey. Hmm. It's locked. But it isn't. Damn it. So is that. Um. It's gonna be doing this way, though, isn't it? Oh, not this. They're in here. I think it's pretty much just follow a linear path at this point. Every time you see an opening, it's that way because the rest of it's just locked off. Oh, oh, I'm not getting back up there. <laughs> I'm feeling you wailing, you know what I mean? Maze. 
playing the scale like chase music, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't think they're friendly. Uh, hello. You saw nothing. Nice pair of hands just surgically at him. Uh, uh, hi guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> this game, bro. This game. It's spooky. Okay, this is, should be where the last. It should be where the last. Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. There we go. And that's the last one for chapter two. From J. Billy, yada yada yada. Subject: Are you patient, Sam Wildcat? You've got. We've got another one. I'm not sure you're going to be able to check if it's off as a psychopathic proximity disorder. Security guard all the way up in the admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeing Vernix fairy tales. He was never directly exposed to the engine, never even made it below level 1 in the building. It would be an enormous breach of protocol and security of doctors were speaking of the wall rider within hearing of a contracted security guard. And it seems vanishingly improbable that he would stumble into such a obscure mythological story on his own. It's too similar to the Dr. Samuel case or the others before him. It's one thing for formerly sane medical personnel to fall under the delusions of their patients. It's another thing entirely for those beliefs to be, I don't know, airborne. We need to talk in person billings. Okay, and there we go. Those are the three clips was in the recreational block. So, I think this one's in prison. Uh, and I'm not 100% sure of what time we're going on here because I had to cut. Uh, the first attempt at the rec the rec block because uh, I ended up missing that note. Uh, but I would like us to finish this chapter if at all possible. Hey, you. where are you running from? Okay, so there's three ways. I can't use this either. Can't go that way. So we're just going up. Bum, bum. Okay. Okay. Uh, Billy's dead, dude. Okay, I think we're in. Um... Right, well, even if we aren't, I'm going to stop here, guys. Uh, I think the episode's gone on long enough. It's been a pretty intense one, quite a lot of scares. And uh, so we've, we've possibly progressed through two chapters there, so that's, well, one and a half, I guess. So, very interesting. So, in the next episode, we will carry on trying to find a way to find the radio that we can contact the outside world. I doubt we're going to get away with it, though, obviously. As it's a prequel, you kind of guaranteed some certain things. But we'll do our damn best anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be sure to share the video, and I will see you guys in episode 12. Everything Bye, guys. Changes.